Hi, welcome back to my channel and my name is Faith again and um, uh, salamat sa pag tune in ng, ng channel ko. So today's, uh, today we will talk about uh, research. So research, ano nga ba yung research? So what's the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear the word research? Mahirap, tama. Uh, I myself, I myself, <laughs> uh, aminado na, napahirap nga naman ang research. But once you get used to it, you will get hooked to it and you will fall in love with research i still remember when i was uh, when i was in college i was uh, third year fourth year in college and we have research one and two i had a hard time finishing my research kaya uh, kasi <clears throat> uh, napunta sa akin yung mga uh, mga kagrupo na tamad <laughs> mapagkating like that so walang walang masa, walang walang pakialam sa pag-aaral nila so i really had a hard time kasi ako na yung gumawa ako pa yung ako pa yung nagpa-print ako yung nagpa-bombine ng ng research namin so iniyakan to iniiyakan ko talaga yung research sabi ko sa isip ko isinusunod pa ako yung subject na to so never did i imagine or did i think that God has a purpose. Bakit napunta sa akin or nangyari sa akin yung sitwasyon na yun. Now, I'm employed employed uh, in the Department of Education and currently teaching Research 1. So, yung mga knowledge na uh, learnings na natutunan, natutunan ko nung college ako, na-apply ko siya ngayon sa pagtuturo ko. So, I'm not really perfect when it comes to teaching the Research 1, pero it really helps na nahirapan ka nung ikaw ay nag-aaral pa. So, it's worth it. So, kung sinasabi mo na I hate research, uh, mag-isipan mo muna. <laughs> because God has a, has a reason. Kaya, nararanasan mo ang bawat bagat. So, just the same with research. Okay. So, research. Uh, what is research? Uh, what is research? Okay. So, from the word re, R-E. So, it means to say, ulitin. So, search um which is s e a r h so search it means to say maghanap ng maghanap so ulitin yung paghahanap ng datos tama okay so for the research we have to find uh, a new conclusion uh, sa sa problema ang kinakaharap natin so for the qualitative research uh, we have to find uh, answers to questions like teenage pregnancy uh ano pa bang problema sa Pilipinas na meron tayo especially in the in the public schools like that so problems that you can see uh inside the classroom or sa paaralan mo so what are the problems that interest you most so pag-aralan mo yun so basically kaya tayo nagre-research is because uh, meron nang nag-aral niyan. Uh, like for example, tardiness, absenteeism, marami nang nag-aral niyan. Uh, so we we uh, we will just make another conclusion or a new conclusion for that problem. So bakit nga ba? Like for example, in your section, uh, bakit marami yung nag absent sa mga kaklase mo? So so for this time, so sabi niya, research is a systematic investigation in to the study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach a new conclusion. So, from the word systematic investigation, systematic means meron siyang step-by-step -step procedure na sinusundan sa pag ng ng datos or ng problema. So, it means to say, so kung chapter 1 ka, hindi ka pwedeng mag-jump to chapter 5, which is the conclusion. So, kailangan, okay, so it's a systematic investigation of data. So, it means to say, you have to establish facts katotohanan lamang uh, ang kailangan mong makuha ng dato. So, hindi siya pwede dayain. Pwede siyang dayain, but uh, sino ba yung nululoko mo kung dadayain mo yung research mo, di ba? So, anyway, you know, uh, I've learned a lot about about research when it comes to my students kasi you will see and you will find out the real reasons why uh, they are misbehaving like that. Sometimes, uh, the reason is that uh, they cannot feel the love inside their families like that sa pamilya nila mismo or 
uh, bakit nga ba sila lagi nag-absent kasi wala silang pera so gusto gusto man nilang pumasok sa klase mo hindi sila makapasok kasi um, they don't have the money uh, like na, nagkukulang sila sa baon they couldn't afford uh, to go to school so you will find out it's just amazing to to know these facts na ah Akala ko, ako lang yung marami yung problema. So, you will never, or you will imagine, or you will realize na meron pa, or mas maraming tao na mas maraming problema, mas malaki yung problema sa iyo. Okay, so that is research. So, we have to systematically investigate things uh, for us to establish facts. Uh, and at the same time, we have to reach a new conclusion. So, a new conclusion. Kasi nga, meron ng previous researcher na nag-conclude niyan. So, we have to find a new conclusion, bagong conclusion na nanggagaling sa iyo. So, that's it guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again next time on my next videos. Bye!